Hello everyone, my name is Wang Wing. Currently, I am an undergraduate sophomore at Duke University, majoring in cell and molecular biology with a chemistry minor. You might all have heard the saying, an apple a day, keep the doctor away. This old saying actually has a very interesting scientific origin that links to a toxin called patrolin. Last semester, I was able to conduct my very first independent research studying about the behavioral toxicity of patrolin using adult zebrafish. Even with a very limited amount of time in the lab, this interesting experiment has taught me so much about scientific inquiry and what research is all about. So let me share with you what I found in my experiment. Patulin is a toxin produced by several fungal strains, especially Penicillium expansum, that is often found in rotting apple and its products such as apple juice and other foods for young children. In 1944, it was tested for potential antibiotic property against common cold. However, we now know it's toxic. In humans, patrolin can trigger local irritation and acute intoxications that often go undetected by medical health professionals. Patrolin can also trigger human red blood cell death. What about zebrafish? Zebrafish is a small freshwater species that has recently become popular in many fields of studies. However, zebrafish behavior is not fully examined. Therefore, if we can show that patulin induces quantifiable behavioral changes in a zebrafish, then a zebrafish can be used as a research tool in tackling the issues of patulin and other related toxin intoxication treatment and prevention. Overall, we injected 10 microliter of patulin diluted in controlled DMSO for the total of 4 experimental doses 0.1, 1, 5, and 10 microgram. At the end of the 24 hour treatment period, their swimming activities were recorded for 8 minutes. Video recordings were then blind analyzed by counting the number of lines on the grid beneath the tank that the fish crossed. Let's just look at the result. As the concentration of patulin increased, the local motor activity of the fish also increased. Moreover, we also showed that 1. 5 microgram dose seemed to be the most effective dose of patulin. 2. 10 microgram dose seemed to be too toxic for adult zebrafish. Lastly, fish weight and size may play a role in the toxicity of patulin. Further research is required to confirm our results and optimize the methodology. However, we suggest that adult zebrafish is a promising in vivo screening model organism to assess the neural behavioral toxicity of patulin. We all love eating apples and drinking apple juice. However, it's critical to be knowledgeable about what we put in our body.